Cliff Cohn is a single father of two boys. Before the pandemic, he would order takeout regularly. But when his favorite restaurants shut down after New York City lockdown, he picked up his apron and started cooking. I'm not a great cook, uh, but we figured uh, out a few dishes that uh, my two sons and I liked uh, to eat. He now cooks at home almost every night. It has become a family affair. The boys help him pick out the ingredients and he puts them to work in the kitchen. It's great to involve the boys in the preparation because they will be much more amenable to eating something that they, they help prepare. Cooking is also much more cost effective. Cohn says he used to spend about $100 per meal when ordering in for his family. Now he spends about $100 a week in groceries. U.S. consumer spending fell a whopping 16% in April. The only sector posting gains was grocery sales, which rose 12% after rising more than 25% in March. The data coincides with reports of a boom in cooking. The rise in home cooking amid the pandemic has provided a lifeline to those in the food industry that traditionally cater to restaurants, like biscuits and spice shop La Boite in New York City. It's owned by Lior Lev Serkars, often called the Spice King. He's the author of several cookbooks and a former sous chef at famed New York eatery, Daniel. More than 80% of his business has been in supplying restaurants and other industry professionals. But that business dried up with the pandemic. For a good month and a half, there were no orders completely, which was um, alarming, scary, bizarre, after 13 years of having orders on a daily basis. But then he noticed orders on his e-commerce site were booming as more people were cooking. To help grow that business, he began sending out daily newsletters with cooking tips and tricks. It's never going to compensate for the loss of the professional business, but at least it keeps us going. He's one example of a food entrepreneur that has successfully pivoted to the at-home market. More may be wise to follow suit. With no vaccine yet, it could be a while before restaurants run at full capacity again. And polls find Americans are likely to continue cooking more frequently even after the pandemic. Cohn agrees. Some of our favorite restaurants have um, opened back up, and so of course we want to um, support our local restaurants, but um, we've fallen into a routine and we enjoy it. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.